I think we've got to go where the money is. And the money is with people who've taken advantage of every single break in the tax code. I will bring our energy companies back. They'll be able to compete. They'll make money. They'll pay off our national debt. They'll pay off our tremendous budget deficits, which are, are tremendous. Yeah. Yeah. Hillary Clinton is looking to pay yeah. the bills by taxing the rich. Donald That's Trump, meanwhile, fun. insists energy resources can dig us out of a $19 trillion hole. Oh, we're back. With a soaring federal debt, our next guest says Clinton's plan barely scratches the surface, while Trump's proposals are, quote, fantasy land. Stop it. Scratch the surface. Mm. You're going to see the light. Um, so How are you? you? I'm good, Jeffrey. How are you doing? Very good, thank you. Good. So, Jeffrey, this is something we've both complained about for a very long time. It seems like every four years we talk about how neither candidate has any plan to save entitlements in America from this crushing debt. And uh, it's no better this year, is it? Well, Trump is completely bizarre, of course, because he would completely gut the budget and, and right. gut the revenue. So we could put that aside totally absurd right what uh, Hillary is saying has a, a small uh, useful bit of truth to it which is we have to collect more revenues from those who aren't paying and the big companies are a big part of that right. you look at uh, companies like Apple and Amazon and others that have put all their international profits uh, in protected tax havens right. that's a lot of money we should be getting what I'm worried about is that we spent trillions of dollars on wars that could well continue in the way that all this tough talk is uh, going. So we're way right. overextended militarily. So, so what? And what we're do we paying do, though, a fortune as, as far as just the exploding costs, though. Uh, the exploding costs for Medicare, uh, Social Security, Medicaid. It seems to me. You're exactly right. I mean, we've got to we've got to address this holistically. Yeah. But a huge part of it is, well, it's just math. You've got two people ten years from now working for every one person on Social Security and Medicare instead of fifteen people back in the fifties. Yeah. On Medicare and Medicaid, the huge correctable problem is the drug prices are completely out of control because we have this crazy system where we say you have a monopoly. And we won't negotiate with you, so you set any price you want. So we there's have a very good new no, drug on no hepatitis C, which costs a dollar a pill today. Does the government and the not, company hey, Jeffrey, and the company Jeffrey, chart, wait, wait, stop can you. I just finish one no, sentence? You said something that's actually fascinating, really? and I would like you to illuminate. I would be delighted. So stop talking so I can ask oh, you. With are pleasure. you telling me that the federal government doesn't negotiate with Big Pharma? Medicare is not allowed to. They're not allowed to? Yes. See, that's illuminating, and I wanted our people. Good. Breathe that in. Now explain that. Okay. Why in the world would the federal government that has probably the greatest buying power on the planet, why wouldn't they force Big Pharma to negotiate with them? That Be just seems stupid. Because Big Pharma funds all of the congressional races. And so they have paid for the senators and congressmen over the years. So in 2003, when they extended Medicare to cover drug prices, in the last moment, the lobbyists put in a clause which says, you will not negotiate. I've got to stop you again. Okay. So you're telling me that the institution that has the greatest buying power on this planet is not allowed to negotiate. Medicare is not to allow, allowed to negotiate with pharmaceutical companies over the price of the gazillions of pills and drugs that they purchase from Big Pharma? Precisely. And if it's outrageous. And I just threw my pen in the air. I'm so glad you Joe, stopped. Could I tell you an example. Yes, I would okay. love that. I was that, about see, to finish aren't that. Aren't you glad that we stopped so we could all we could yeah. put No, no, it's good. It's like good. Go. Give us an example. We have a wonderful new drug mm -hmm. to cure hepatitis C, which oh. otherwise kills. Right. Okay. It costs a dollar a pill to make. 
the company that bought the patent, it didn't make the drug, it bought the patent, mm. charges $1,000 for that pill. What's the company? The company is Gilead Sciences. A thousand dollars. And I'll tell you something else interesting, which is they are making every year now about $15 billion of profits on their sales in the U.S., paid for the U.S. government. And where are oh. those profits residing? They're residing in Ireland, <sighs> tax-free, because they also abuse the tax system. And so this is why the, the deficit Justice is Department? so large. Where is the Justice Department on things like that? Pathetic. Yeah, but nowhere. But talk about, nowhere talk about farmers are on the passage of the Affordable Care Act, where they reinforce all of this. All of this is absolutely the lobbying at work, and that's what busts the budget. That's why Medicare, so, so Medicaid is out of So we're going to do something control. right now. Hey, Alex, I want you to give me a full screen for the U.S. Capitol switchboard. It's 202. Oh, no. Two, Let's two, do it. Hold on. 224. <laughs> 3121. 3121. Jeffrey Sachs, a lot of influencers watch this show. A lot of people watch this show. What do they need to ask their congressman, their senator today? Is it just as simple as pass a law that allows the U.S. government to negotiate prices, the best prices with big pharma? That insists that they set rational, sensible prices for the drugs that they buy for the system. How about negotiate? Absolutely. They can negotiate. Let right? them negotiate. We'll do Let it. them negotiate. Absolutely. Okay. Okay. Free marketers all over America. Call, call if you will, 202-224-3121 today. We're going to be putting the number up on the screen. And demand of your congressman and your senator, go to the White House too, and demand, because they were part of the, the, the Affordable Care Act fix, this deal with Big Pharma, demand that they are allowed, the federal government is allowed to negotiate prices with Medicare. That's correct. It's unbelievable. Here's the number. Call the Capitol switch. I'm telling you, I have been saying for years, I have been saying for years, and Jeffrey Sachs has been saying the same thing. The entitlement crisis is going to cripple this country. Now, there's some things that are going to be hard for us to figure out. This one's not one of those. Jeffrey and I disagree on letting free market forces into, in, in, into health care. Well, I think this is a great place for it to be, all right? We've got all this buying power as a nation. There is no reason we can't negotiate the toughest, the lowest, the most bare-bone, fair prices with Big Pharma. Call 202-224-3121 today. Something Washington could do. It, 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 it's, it's, or we could just talk about And so you're telling me that it was not only, not only Medicare Part D where, where they fixed it, but they reinforced that fix, according to Mark Halpern. So our government can't negotiate prices. They don't at all. Uh, during, during the Affordable Care Act. And that was cooked in the books. And you see across the board, medicines are marked up 10 times, 100 times, 1,000 times. Keep that number up. And the government just says, oh, OK, or we don't treat people. One more time, the number's on that pill. Oh, oh, two, two, oh the number three, is, one, it costs a dollar to make and they sell it for $1,000. Come on. The company? The company is Gilead Sciences, and it is but they pay, but they, and they, Harvoni. But they pay and a they lot of U.S. taxes, though, right? For, for a cure that would cost about $100, they are charging $85,000 for the basic cure, $95,000 for the one with an, an added medicine to it. And you know what's happening? which is incredible, is that veterans who are dying of hepatitis C are being turned away from the VA and other places because they said, we can't afford this. You are not sick enough. You come back when you're sick enough, and then you'll... Oh. So, 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 are you, are you, so you're telling me chills. it's not only Medicare 
that can't negotiate with Big Pharma. The VA can't negotiate with Big Pharma. They can't get the price down to where it needs to be. They have a little bit of negotiating, but they don't have it anywhere close to what it needs but to Medicare be. But Medicare is where... Medicare can't do Me- anything. Medicare and Medicaid, that's where all the money is. That's, and that's where a lot of the sick people are. And the sick people are dying in this country because of these markups. And then this company does not pay its taxes because it books this Ireland. completely out of, you know, for something that's paid by the U.S., it's a U.S. patient, the profits are in the U.S., it's booked in Ireland. 202-224-3121. Dr. Jeffrey Bring Sachs. the free market Thank you. Uh, to medicine <laughs> and call your congressman and senator today and insist, tell them that you're on to them, you know that they're scamming you, that you know that they're getting money from Big Pharma, and so you're getting screwed, we're all getting screwed, patients are getting screwed, and our children are going to grow up in a country that's bankrupt. Call them today and start raising hell. We'll be right back.